Good evening, everyone. I'd like to welcome and thank you all for your presence here in Balmacase this evening as members of the Loyal Orders Band and community as whole. Each and every one of us here this evening are gathered for our act of remembrance and to give thanks for the life of our late sovereign, Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. We, her loyal subjects, pledge allegiance to her successor, King Charles III. At just 26 years of age, following the death of her father, King George VI, the young princess Elizabeth's life would change forever, inheriting the throne and becoming queen as a rightful girl of Marley. Take, taking on this great responsibility, placing her life to this country, however long or short it may be, and maintaining the settlement of the true Protestant religion, from building up the Commonwealth to 50 plus countries, to visiting 100 plus countries in her lifetime, along with her commitment and dedication to us and this country over 70 glorious years. It's very clear Her Majesty kept her promise to us all, her loyal subjects. After the portions of scriptures have been read by our chaplains, we will lay flowers together to remember the life of selfless dedication Her Majesty gave to us all with great dignity. God save the Queen, long live the King. I would now like to pass the mic over to the chaplain of Balmakash LOL 317 to read a portion of scripture. Scripture reading, Psalm chapter 23, verse 1 to 6. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in great pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me into the paths of the righteousness for his name's sake. Yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thy art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou prepares the table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Let us pray. O eternal God, before whose face the generations rise and pass away, thyself unchanged, abiding, we bless thy holy name for all who have completed their earthly course and thy faith and following. We are now at rest. We remember before thee this day Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, rendering thanks unto thee for her resolute faith and loyalty, for her sense of duty and integrity, for her life of service to the nation and the Commonwealth, and for the courage and inspiration for her leadership. To her, with all the faithful departed, grant thy peace. Let thy perpetual shine upon them and in thy loving wisdom and almighty power, work in them the good purpose of thy perfect will. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I would like to pass the mic to the chaplain of JOL 21 to read a portion of scripture. Is here. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Jesus Christ, Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Whatever you have learned or received or heard from me or seen in me, put into practice, and the God of peace will be with you. I'd like to call the chaplain of Bonham Cross County Club. Let us pray. God of all consolation, as we give you thanks for the life of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth, and bring to you our sadness and sorrow, so too we lift before you all the members of the royal family, be with them, O Lord, as they grieve not only for their queen, but for their beloved mother, grandmother, and great-grandmother, that they find great comfort in the promise of the new heaven and the new earth, where in pain and suffering, grieving and sorrow will be no more, and you will wipe away every tear, surround them with your love, remind them of your presence, encourage them in a sheer and certain hope that belongs to all who trust in your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Almighty God, the fountain of all goodness, we humbly beseech thee to bless His Majesty the King, the Duke of Cornwall, and all the royal family. Endue them with the Holy Spirit, enrich them with thy heavenly grace, prosper them with all happiness, and bring to them thine everlasting kingdom, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 
God save the Queen, long live the King. Queen Elizabeth, a glorious name for a glorious Queen with a glorious reign. You come to the throne, young and free, not knowing how good a leader you would be. Courage and loyalty were your traits. You were our Queen and Head of State. Ninety-six years may seem like a long time, but the diamonds on your crown will forever shine. Fifteen Prime Ministers have stood by your side through war, crisis and economic slide. Charities good, causes you have benefited. What you done for this country was unprecedented. God save the Queen. Here in Balmakash, she blessed all our hearts, long to reign over us, and that she truly did. You can shed tears that she is gone, or smile by the because she is dead.
Bob, Chris, Huntress.